Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. A few hours ago, there was a report about the Nigerian army having deployed aircraft, gun trucks in search of Namdekano's Eastern Security Network camp. Although this news is presently on an exclusive list as the video was captured by some camera allegedly installed by the Eastern Security Network Group. Just a few hours after the exclusive report has reported, as reported by some renowned news publication agency like the Sahara Reporters, the Eastern Security Network member were seen holding guns and poss possibly preparing for any form of attack on their formation. According to several other news outlets, it is being reported that members of the IPOB's Eastern Security Network have been spotted on patrol with guns. The Eastern Security Network group was organized by Namdekano, the leader of the Proscribed group, Biafra, that is the IPOP. According to the leader, the group is formed to provide community security for lives and properties, just like the Amotekun of the Western Nigeria and Hishba in the north. It was reported earlier today that the Nigerian army were deployed and uh, have been deployed and uh, deployed some uh, aircraft and gun trucks into the eastern forest in search of the eastern security network camp it remains to be seen how things unfold on this particular news story as it were and uh, how they are going about issues the challenge here now is can the Eastern Security Network group withhold themselves? Can they stand the Nigerian army firepower? That is a very huge one to all, and a very massive question that we need to ask. Can they withstand the Nigerian army? I doubt. I doubt if you'd ask me, but it's what it is. What can we see and what can we do? It has been argued that the Eastern Security Network has what it takes to withstand the uh, Nigerian troops or security agents as it were. But from the look of things, does the Eastern Security Network have the um, experience of the Nigerian army? Do they have the weaponry of the Nigerian army? Do they have the personnel in terms of numbers of the Nigerian army? These are some of the challenges I think the Eastern Security Network is facing or will face. Do they have, you know, the intelligence gathering and resources, technical know-how, technology that the Nigerian army possesses? To a very large extent, the answer is no, but it remains to be seen how things unfold. Will the Nigerian army eventually catch up with the Eastern Security Network? Will they eventually discover where the camp of the Eastern Security Network group is located in the southeast? Well, probably. Maybe yes, maybe no. We cannot authoritatively say, but, you know, it remains to be seen. It has been reported that... The Eastern Security Network camp is located somewhere in Anambra State. Well, 
who knows how true this is. It probably might be true, it probably might not be true. But from the look of things and with the way things are at the moment, do you think that uh, the Eastern Security Network in any way stand any chance against the Nigerian army should it get, come down to um, firepower and uh, maybe engaging each other? Well, I stand to be corrected, but to a very large extent, I think the answer is no. But however, we hope that uh, there is no casualty because the Nigerian army probably has um, a directive or an order from above to arrest such uh, uh, the Eastern Security Network personnel, wherever they are. After discovering the camp, I think they have the orders to arrest, you know, and um, probably would eventually lead to the prosecution of those who would have been arrested. But we hope this does not eventually degenerate to uh, chaos in the country and among the people of the country, as it were. It is sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected. But with the way things are going, with the way things are at the moment, you know, there are reasons for people to be scared and afraid. Already, in some of the eastern states and uh, local villages, where the Nigerian army's uh, truck and uh, the aircraft has been uh, sighted. There's been palpable fears around those uh, locations and those places. And uh, who knows what eventually would uh, become of the situation in those areas. Because as, uh, from the look of things, majority of those people would have actually, uh, you know, been fleeing their communities in fear of anything happening that may lead to loss of lives. The problem might be exchange, because the problem might be anticipating an exchange of firepower between the Eastern Security Network and the Nigerian Army. It is also being reported that the Eastern Security Network are wielding uh, weapons that are not meant to be used by vigilantes. The question now is how did the Eastern Security Network group you know, got their weapons. How did they get their uh, war-grade weapons, as it were, that they are utilizing or they are using in the protection of the uh, forest, the people of the Southeast, as it were, as it's according to their discussion or their, their, their um, mandate, as it is? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, guys? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold on this particular news story. Who knows what will eventually happen? Who knows if the people of the Eastern Security Network somehow might eventually, you know, get engaged with the Nigerian army and it probably might just turn bloody and uh, there probably would be serious casualties as it were. But however, with palpable fears already around, people are scared and may not even know how to go about some of these issues. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.